All right, so this this whole thing's been going on. <laughs> this this is a whole thing that happened. Oh with, my god! Uh, for those who don't know, the Eric July thing. Um, I, what do, I think I have the ice. Don't ice. show it on screen. It'll copyright strike us. <laughs> Instead, I'll show a better book. <laughs> what are the odds, Mike Lindell? There you go. From crackhead to crackhead again. <laughs> <laughs> crackhead to crackpot. Look, look, look. Let's pretend that this copy of Rhinestone with Dolly Parton and Sylvester Stallone is an Isom comic. Let's pretend. That's what we're looking at. Why do you? I can't this? because that's a far better piece of media. Oh, because I couldn't find it on Blu-ray. Um. Put, so. Uh, <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, <laughs> um, one of our fans sent it. I mean, obviously, it's just a weird, like, <laughs> just a weird choice and something to send. Um, so anyway, uh, so Eric July was upset because Riley went pulled up, as it were, to his place of business. He was specifically asked to pull up, and he did pull up, mm -hmm. and he put stickers with dollar sign with like re IRL super chats. Which was very funny. Which was funny, and then I loved his. Um, I loved how intense he was. Ignore these super chats, you son of a bitch! <laughs> and and an then Rakeda is going after him, and then after this, Dick Masterson goes on Rakeda's show and almost fucking says legally be actual things that he probably shouldn't be saying. Which was very funny. Um, but anyway, Eric Rakeda was talking about. Which the one thing about Ricada that I, I do like is that he's very like, look, if you want to ask me about the law, I will tell you the answer as a lawyer. This is the law. He'll tell you his opinions aside, like legally what's going mm -hmm. on. Yeah. Right. So, of course, since it wasn't them saying that 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 I saw was the best comic that was ever written. Eric July was literally in Ricada's chat being like, let me hop on. Let me hop on. I want to talk to you. Let me hop on. So he did. And mm -hmm. here's what happened. Fine. I don't need to. Here is uh, Eric. I'm bringing you in. You're, you already give me a thumbs up. All right. Hey, man, what's shaking? What's up? What's up, man? What's up? <laughs> Too much drama, man. Too yeah. much drama. And I think uh, there's a lot of misunderstanding going on. But um, look, let's just uh, let's just be out with it. Be fully frank. I'm good with that. I want to I want to bury all this shit because I, I hate this stuff. So okay. uh, what you got for me, man? Oh, no, I figured that instead of like, you know, talking around it and, you know, at talking at audience and all that good stuff, I figured that why not talk directly? Definitely. If, uh, you know, I'm saying something about you or you saying something about me, I figured why not talk, talk directly. I I've been with that you. Sounds that. like what Riley figured he was doing. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then then you fucking got his fucking Twitter taken down. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think this whole kind of ordeal is gay um, and, and should be ended. Uh, however, yeah, 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 yeah. But you went after like false flag, like you, well, your people. Let me not say you. Yeah, you. You've been, and I don't mean black people. I mean like your ice on people. You have been escalating it every single step of the way. Mm -hmm. I think in order for that, you said pull up. That to kind of be on the table if that's yeah, something this that we all both started want. because I... a libertarian said pull up, and a guy did to his public fucking mm -hmm. warehouse. And not, they were not a libertarian, an anarcho-capitalist who who didn't believe in intellectual property rights until and, he had intellectual property. And then D and then DMCA'd his fucking clip of verse thing that he made too, which is by the way completely parody. Which is why you. now he's in a trademark battle because then mm -hmm. people found the International School of Ministry which holds the trademark mm -hmm. to ISOM. And then they were like, all right, so people snitched him out to this fucking International right. School of Ministers. And now you're getting sued over real trademark shit. It's like every time you do something to harm somebody, it comes back tenfold on you, and you just aren't learning. This initially, we need to be honest about it, and let's not act like this is one of those, hey, this is this guy versus that guy thing. That's not what this is. I didn't start this. Um, uh, you definitely did I had not. Nothing to do, I had nothing to do with any of that. Um, but, yeah, it's reached kind of a level that is, you know, it's gay. I, I agree with that 100%. Yeah, and to be very clear, uh, I don't know if you heard or saw, uh, or maybe you did and you didn't think it was genuine, and, it, and I don't know. But uh, I did say that, um, you know, Riley going to your place of business, while I don't think it was illegal, and we may have some disagreements over that, and there may be details that I can't see uh, in regards to the property, but from what I've seen, I don't think it's illegal, but I did say, bad move he shouldn't do it given the tension i think it's a really really bad play um i don't okay. like people so doing far that so shit. good i wouldn't reasonable. want him doing it to me either i get it uh so that was uh that was the thing i said last night when it was brought up to me 
I wasn't aware of it until someone super chatted and I had to like look in, or I might've seen it or something, but uh, someone super chatted and I addressed it right then um, in my last stream. So right. I do not think he should have gone to your place of business at all. Uh, but at the same time, like if people ask me about legalities, specifically self-defense, like I'm going to give them my legal opinion. That's uh, that's still true. And I was, I think right before um, uh, we got, or that I saw that you were in chat, I was saying that there are two practicalities, right? There's what you can legally do, and then there's what you should and shouldn't do. And I think what Riley did is something you shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. So uh, I want to be very well, clear I, on that. And, I, and I, I'm cool with that. Uh, I, you know, there is a point of contention there. Um, there, I'm obviously not a lawyer, but I'm at least familiar. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> See, I would have fell for it too. It was too loud. <laughs> that that was the problem. Was, it was it was too loud. <laughs> Almost had me though. <sighs> oh, hold on, let me try this again. Hold on, this is probably like this. We would, let's just we were... failure enough with it. That would have been better with our team as well as what's actually happening on it. Um, you know, again, my issue with it is less legal uh, versus illegal anyway. Wow. Uh, but again, I do question that whole legality aspect of it all because your yeah. issue isn't oh, about legal. You're a retarded. He sounds like a buffoon. Like he talks like a buffoon, mm -hmm. and and I'm and and it's weird because what when, when when he was doing his comic stuff, you know, it's fine, but it's like money sometimes does this to people, where it makes them think that because they've made a large sum of money, that they are smarter, like that that like that makes them like some sort of weird intellectual. Yeah, no, that's that's pretty much everybody, especially. The, uh, when you're a fucking YouTuber, which is yeah. basically what, like, I, I get it. He thinks he's a big comic book writer, but really, you're a YouTuber. You were a comic culture commentator. Mm -hmm. That's all you do. We're no, none of us are smart. I make the argument, and certainly everybody here is making the argument that for sure, definitely considering at nighttime that. Uh, it yeah, my first one goes, that's all grifting libertarians. Nobody hates libertarians more than other libertarians. And libertarians want to win, but every time a libertarian succeeds, the other libertarians get call them not a real libertarian, and then they all fight with each other. Yeah, and then they kick everybody out of the free state movement. Is mm -hmm. criminal mischief, right? Uh, it's not criminal mischief. And that, look, Rakita's is like, um, uh, and, yeah, and they, are definitely because he's writing on stuff and he's putting notes up and all. Oh this man, shit. he's putting notes oh. and writing stuff. Whoa, snap stuff. And in Texas, if you don't know, you can. By the way, and this is what not anything that I'm advocating, right? I want to be very, right. very clear about that. But, you know, definitely because we're talking about the legality of deadly force and all that mm -hmm. good stuff in Texas. Oh, yeah. Cool. Committing, so uh, you're talking uh, about the legality of night, deadly force in regards to a man putting stickers on your window. There's yeah. a, we have the right. It's right there uh, in Section 9 of the tech. Uh, not a, in, a, in a business park? Yeah. I don't know if that's the same putting stickers on something in a business park. It means you could shoot somebody. Yeah, that's that doesn't. Oh, if he, if he would have broken into your place and you would have been in there, you probably could have probably shot him in Texas. I broke this down a little bit on Nightwave, but yeah, mm -hmm. when you have when you have a shared area like an industrial or a commercial park, mm -hmm. you don't have a right to restrict access to the industrial park to like you don't own any of that property. You're renting. <clears throat> the way I said it on Nightwave is you basically have the what is basically an apartment for businesses. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. It's so it's. It has apartment type rules. It's like if you live in an apartment building, I can't obstruct the walkway up to my floor if there's another apartment. Like you're not allowed. That's not your. It's a common area. You have an apartment for businesses. So if like a fucking local Chinese place was opening up, was going around and putting stickers with their menus on them, you think you could just shoot the, the guy, the Chinese person? I literally made. Did you? Okay. The I didn't know same that. joke last week. Yeah. I said, oh, I'm going to shoot every Chinaman that slides a menu under my door. Yeah. Like, you like, can't do you that. Can't, I'm it's pretty sure that's not how it works. I'm not a lawyer or anything. Even if I have a sign that mm -hmm. says, don't put things on my door, no soliciting, I still can't just open fire on somebody. A Texas penal code and. You know, you can read it verbatim. But I thought you didn't care you, about legal versus not legal. You said that. You the one that said it. Versus you being oh, able yeah, to use deadly force uh, for someone uh, committing criminal mischief at night or, or on your properties. So, but however, you know, that aside, because that was never really on the table. One to, I don't know these. Cats. I want to get to a certain like, part. 11. I don't know if you got to the part where he was talking about. Is there a gate like to your thing, like to the warehouse and all yeah, that? Yeah, he starts breaking. He started down. sounding really dumb there. Something like that. It was well within the night. The, the, okay, the tunnel was completely down. Yeah, it's like pretty 
well, the video is well lit. I don't know where the light's coming from. Well, but no, like, not when he, not when he stuck that. I mean, maybe it was well lit in terms of the light, but he was, it was. Clear. Yeah. Maybe it yeah, was that's well, well lit. lit. Maybe it was oh, like in lit. terms of light. There was a lot of light. <laughs> this yeah. is the stuff I was talking about. But it about. wasn't out like well lit. But they, yeah, there was a lot of light, and it was well lit though. This is the stuff I'm talking about. <laughs> this is the stuff I'm talking about. This is like pre Neanderthal levels of intelligence. This is the stuff I'm talking about. I was watching this right. Eric July is the kind of guy that wonders where the sun goes at night. I don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like. Does the sun, the sun go to sleep? I don't understand this. Like, wait a second Bro. here. You're saying it was well lit. No, no, but I'm not talking about like, yeah, there was lights and stuff. Like, what are you talking about, Eric? He's Philomena Kunk in real life. Yes, it's exactly what he is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Same brand of comedy, but he's dead ass serious. That night when he did it, there was no, he didn't. The only thing that he did was kind of weird. He kind of drove in and he backed up and he drove past it at during the day and took a picture. Uh, mm -hmm. But other than that, that was it. He never, he never did uh, uh, anything like that during the day. That was, that was at night. There was nobody there. Sure. And I, again, I don't know. So I'm, I'm taking your word at it. Full faith. Like I, I have no problem accepting mm -hmm. that it was at night. I just, I wanted to clarify from someone yeah, yeah. who knew because like I said, from the video, uh, it's, it's never clear how lighting shit plays out. So with that said though, um, the funny part about law is like, uh, there are disagreements over stuff that Absolutely. many people find obvious. And I got to take one issue with you just on the, the criminal mischief, mm -hmm. which is what Texas calls vandalism. Um, criminal mischief almost always requires some level of damage or burden on someone. So I think you're running a real risk with suggesting that stickers on a window is going to come out to be criminal. According mischief. to the penal code, though. A, you're, a, he's but, the lawyer. According to the law, though, the, the penal code. I know a lot about the law. He's the yeah, lawyer. Nick, You're a paint by numbers comic book writer. Calm down. Yeah. Yeah, but Nick, what you don't understand is I'm a free inhabitant. This is the <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. NAP man. Oh, it specifically says Mark. I, I think Nick Ricada's disrespecting you. You should beat him up. <laughs> yeah, why don't you pull up? Food inscriptions, slogans, and drawings. That's all. Yeah. So what yeah, would you mean? What, I mean, if you're greedy, you fucking idiot. Yes, I know, but he's a moron. You have to remember something that, that what's, what's been exposed. This is there's a there's another universe if you believe in like the multiverse theory, right? Where the, everything went the same way, but he just went like, I guess like my comics not for everyone. That's okay, man. You don't have to read it. All right, have, thanks though. Mm -hmm. And that's all he had to say, right? And then he'd still be making his millions of dollars, and he wouldn't have to be getting trademark sued or any of this stuff. But instead. He had to fucking do it. He had to play the fucking tough guy. And what, all that happened is, is everything is unraveling now because of it. People would have respected him more, maybe not thinking he's the smartest guy in the world, obviously. But people would have been like, you know what, though? Self-made man. He said he was going to fuck. He t instead of talking shit about other comics, he went out and made it. Look, it's not for me, but good on him. Mm -hmm. All he had to do was be like, nah. But instead... You fucking started this shitstorm with people to have Rakita do a six-hour response to the fucking video. <laughs> I, I get what you're saying, but you're mm -hmm. setting a pretty high bar for a guy who... I, now, I've never read Isom, but somebody told me that Isom starts off with the phrase two weeks ago. Look, I, ha I have read Isom, yes. and I can tell you that yes. So instead of starting... At a certain time, and yeah. then saying, "Oh, by the way, two weeks ago, we just go two weeks ago." Where is my ISOM copy? I definitely have a copy of ISOM that someone sent us, like an actual one. That way, they don't hit me for copyright yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's how that's how he made sure ISOM was timeless. It always takes place two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. That when I heard that, I fucking was howling. I'm like, "Does it really start with two weeks ago?" And like, but we're not even in now yet. The guy who's powered by Suns, his name is Solara, because Sun. Yeah, I, yeah, to Toyota made it, I think, for a while, right? Yes. Toyota I Solara. think Cousin Joe had one. He did, he did, he did. You're talking about damage. Yes, that's included. If you can break the window and do all that good stuff, obviously that, that is completely obvious. And, you know, I'm willing to... This is really unbelievable to me. I mean, seriously. Accept a disagreement, but certainly our guys on that side don't see it that way. And to be honest, you know, that's... I, I think that's what matters. However, no, what matters is the legality of it because yeah. you're talking to a lawyer. And, and also, it's not like, also, here's the thing: if if you do think he broke the law, 
you don't go to a lawyer. That's not how any of this works. Go to the cops. Yeah, you go to the police and they, and they arrest the guy. And then you can get lawyers involved. You want to do some civil shit later. But he keeps doing this. Well, my lawyers tend to disagree. And my, and my lawyers also be a deputies. Uh, so they're going to come and arrest him. Not though. Like, no, it, it's not what matters, though, because what matters is what a prosecutor sees, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so there it is. Then he goes, exactly. But you just said the opposite of that. That's my point about the buffoonery. You know, and that's the word I hear. I hear a buffoon, you know, the law has played out. And so I'm going to I'm going to offer a mild rebuttal okay. and simply say that inscriptions, markings and stuff like that is referring to graffiti, to marker, to something that's actually applied to the property mm -hmm. that would take some sort of effort to remove. And if you read a little farther into the statute, you'll actually see them explain that there has to be some sort of pecuniary loss or economic burden in either uh, the damage to the property or the removal from the property in mere incidental um yeah, but we ain't got no pecuniaries outside. We got we got Nandinas. Yeah. Does that matter? Yeah, that, we does got, that matter what kind of bushes like, we have? Uh, dandelions out there and like uh, some kind of blue flower thing. Is removing I something think they like said a that's lavender. Sticker doesn't usually measure up. Now, of course, there are some stickers, right? That a huge sticker that you slap on, you got to get hire someone to like use solvents and shit to remove it. These look like relatively small stickers that would pop off without any effort. I think you'd be on real shaky ground. <laughs> Not you, sorry, you weren't there, but anyone would be on real shaky ground trying to justify putting a right. hole in someone over those stickers Whoa, uh, or even yeah. suggesting that a prosecutor would uh, or, or a cop even would write an infractionary ticket on this misdemeanor offense. Like, there's no way, man. It's not spray paint. Uh, well, again, I, I, again, I, it's not necessarily we see it that way. Definitely considering that, you know, there were drawings. It doesn't uh, matter were, how you see it. actually there and there's some weird stuff that. Now he's trying to really say with some weird stuff, some drawings, some things that might be. Was read on it, and you know I'm not going to sit up here, uh, wrote on it. I'm not going to sit here and repeat it uh, by any means. But you know, I, I, I... by any means, this is like when a uh, Damon Wayne's played that prison character mm -hmm. who would just like started reading books in jail, and well, he's using words all wrong. Yeah, this is every black guy in court. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they just they just start using what they think is court words, dude. I was every see, black guy who learns the word behoove. Yeah. <laughs> It will behoove you. It's they love the word circumstances too, in in, in court they love that one. He uh, here, this is what I was talking about. Before we vote on your request yeah. for parole, we do have some questions. Do you think you'll be able to adjust to life on the outside? This. <laughs> yes, this is great. Allow me to partelligize myself. <laughs> Suppositorily speaking, my incarceration has forced, you understand, the ventilation of, shall I say, my dairy air. And upon my discharge, I will evacuate, excuse me, ejacutate <laughs> my mind. Like that, like, like, yeah. like by any, like, you're yes. just adding words to sound smarter. Yeah, it's black people court talk. Or like a black person on the phone. That, you know, th that being your sort of position and that it's always been the case or you feel like that, that's generally the case of being, to justify putting a, uh, putting a hole uh, or attempting to put a hole in, in someone. What? Our guys don't see it that way. And um, I've, I've seen people get aired out for a lot less. However, I don't even think. Oh, that's yeah. And then they went to prison. Yeah. He's not. literally making the argument that he could have shot Riley for putting stickers on his door. Yeah. Eric, we're not all black people. Aired out for a lot less. However, I don't even think. I would highly suggest. Uh, an alternative opinion on counsel if uh, you think a sticker with a twenty dollar bill under it justifies if if, if that's well, again, their I mean i'll take the money no, that's not the I argument mean, though that's where i think the gaslight is no Nick, that's not the that's not the position gaslighting so now we're just using the, we we use gaslighting as a joke obviously but like now we're using He's, their terms he doesn't even use it properly position the position isn't that Okay, I'm trying to make the argument that to justify putting a hole the in something. The phrase someone. he was looking for was straw man. And what the I'm talking man, about. Not the gaslighting, you fucking. I, yeah, I and what the only really argument ready. is that I'm making in this regard. Because again, shooting someone over a sticker, that would be silly. Though it wasn't simply that. I think it's being kind of disingenuous to even just kind of classify it as, oh, this guy just merely, oh, just being funny, just put a little, put, put a couple of snicker, stickers up that was. Uh, but that's what he did. Is there more? Am I did. missing something else that he did? 
uh, you know, they just th threw on there, and like that, there was no nothing being said or no drawings or any of that that had well, anything that to do the with it. I, I don't know what the well, that, was no, there it, a threat of violence. Uh, well, yeah, of course, there's been okay. actionable threats, and, and been, my, my argument. That? But even what's that the threat. Now he won't this say happened. it. This was one of my favorite parts of this, right? Because we know we know what the threat was. I'm gonna hold you down and I'm gonna shave your arms. The whole he doesn't the want to say it, and Nick knows what it is. This is yeah. one of the best parts of this because Nick Nick does the Nick is one of the I gotta say one of the best in the business when it comes to feigning not knowing something. When it comes to pretending to be stupid and pretending not to know what's going on. Yeah. Look at his blank stare when he goes. Oh wow, I had no idea. What well, what were some of the threats specifically? And the guy was there was because because of that. He's <laughs> recorded himself on video saying that what? well, this is supposedly an actionable threat. Whether you now the well, old I mean, argument is his, that we uh, think Riley's it's, retarded. His legal opinion is <laughs> that and, part and, killed and me. Riley will probably agree with you. I to said be the fair, same thing Riley too. will was, probably agree with I you. I was howling when I watched this mm -hmm. live because I think like Five minutes prior, I had just said Riley's retarded. I'm like, Riley's a retard. He's not going to hurt anybody. And then two minutes later, Nick's like, yeah, but Riley's a retard. I'm like, <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying that that's what, all right, all right. So the, my, well, my, well, my position is, is someone, first of all, is stalking for someone to drive across the country. To, that's not stalking. Look at Rick. My favorite thing about watching is Ricada's face. Mm -hmm. Like when he says stalking, look what he'll get us. Someone to drive across the country. While I was appear. watching this, I just took a bunch of screenshots every time fucking yeah. Nick made a face I liked. At a business that again isn't public, and when I say it's not public, Ricada, I'm not saying that uh, someone can't access it. That's not the argument it is that I'm making. I'm but that's exactly what it means. If it's pu if it's not public, public. there's public. a car wrap place next door. There's a custom auto place next door. I'm saying that this is not something that there's no commerce happening there, right? In that okay. specific building. So that we are at but there's the commerce only... happening in the in the suite next to yours correct the unit next to yours because again i want to reiterate sir you, what you have is basically an apartment for businesses that is what a commercial park is it's a business apartment complex hey i can't afford my own entire fucking brick and mortar warehouse but you know what there's suite 385 in the fucking industrial park and it's dirt cheap because it's right next to the airport and the air quality is terrible you know what i mean and the water quality is terrible the way that you can get in there are two ways that you can get in there's a gate there's a private gate that you can get in uh that way or you can drive there is a road this part this part kind of uh, this part drive in, but that does not face it's can, not a road you can drive into a driveway into the parking lot right yeah you can drive into is, a driveway into the parking lot and that's why our stuff there? is strategic huh is there a gate on that driveway into the parking lot no no no. there's road? not a into that parking lot no there's no there's no gate the gate right is because a, there's a car wrap place and they need to be able to wrap cars because you can't block off again yeah. other people's business apartments it's a public road <laughs> It's a public road yeah. around on the other again side. it's like i was saying if i was, when i lived in my old apartments right there was two two units upstairs two units downstairs and it would be like if i added a chain to like this to get to the second story and i'd be like nope nobody comes in or out the second story unless i say so it's dude like, hey asshole there's people that live next yeah, door they need that to. pay the same amount you do which is the only other way to access it however where yeah. we're at you cannot draw there's no place to go going that direction towards our building that will then, like, you can't, there's no reason to be over there. It doesn't matter. It's this is the part where I was Mr. screaming at it. Is now It's a public road. There doesn't need to be a reason to be back there. What if you get lost and end up there? What if you just fucking feel like taking a detour and be like, hey, let me see what businesses are back here? Or as Nick points fucking out at one idiot. point, what? yeah, like, what if you're fucking lost or what moron. if you're just taking a phone call and you just pull over for a second? What a like, fucking moron Also, I want to point out that Mr. Libertarian here wants to use the state to crush Riley, uh, so Riley will stop being mean to him on the internet. Meanwhile, the, the black guy who's the libertarian is now using the the really shitty, flimsy cop arguments for not getting like when they go, "Let me get your ID," and you're like, "Have have I been accused of anything?" And they're like, "Well, you just you know you're hanging around here. You got no reason to be around here." Like when cop cops do that, Eric, you sound like a cop right now. Oh, um, you know, you can let me search. Or I'll get the dog. I'm just saying, you're sitting here in your car. You're just hanging around. Uh, you know, it's nighttime in this industrial park. You have no business to be here. You're not telling me why you're here. I want your ID. <laughs> and you're like, have I been accused of a crime? You know, it's almost Other like he doesn't have any actual <laughs> convictions or principles. Nope. And let's say, again, you're coming to see us. You're invited or something of that nature. There's something of that nature.
that's again ejaculating no drive through like our building is sectioned that way the way that it is it's us and it's that's such it. that in the way in the way that it is by the way in the chat somebody went like, this black guy has nick on the ropes <laughs> yeah it's there and that's it you cannot drive through our building to get or our side of that building to get somewhere else that's not so what that's a moot point. Yeah. That point is moot. Yeah, that's also how a lot of these industrial and commercial parks are, right? They'll have multiple entrances available, mm -hmm. but in order to deter crime and in order to have sort of control and over the flow of things, if it's not a super busy area, they'll close off some exits. So, so that way people can't rob your shit and take off out a side exit. That way you can have cameras at the front exit and they'll just have that for, like, that's very common, sir, just because you're... Your fucking side entrance isn't open. Chuck Norris Gunk Up goes, are you saying there are walls to this building? <laughs> Some sort of parking area? Is there the a gate blo uh, this, this, blocking uh, off that side of the building? Yes, uh, correct. On that side, there absolutely is a gate blocking both sides. The exit. Actually, because on the end of that street, oh, not a street, I guess that road, whatever you want to call it, it is. A street, a Pub road, but I digress. A public road. The drive, the parking lot, right, if you will, there are yeah. two gates. On, on either side. This is why he drove through, had to turn around to get out because that's the only way that you can get in or out on that on, on that particular side. So again, okay, that, wait, clear, clarify, please. Sorry, can you? <laughs> you said first, <laughs> first that there was a gate on one side, but the other side didn't have a gate, and there was a this, driveway. For there's the layers of why this is funny, right? Because Nick's not an idiot. Eric is really dumb. But also, the, the, I remember this stream. Nick was already a little bit into the sauce that night. Yeah. So that's kind of making things even better because he's kind of like being a little drunk and dealing with somebody who's infinitely more retarded than you, even though you're drunk, is making Nick's brain go, wait, what? Uh, am I dumb? Like, he's taking that moment to go, M maybe I'm stupid because I've been drinking tonight. No, no, no. All Eric's the dumb one. He had to do was say, okay, you don't like my comic. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all that had to happen. Mm -hmm. And the road into Correct. it. Correct. That side is still the same. But what I'm, the more, uh, the, I mean, you have to see it. Now he wants to shoot people over stickers. Is that I'm saying. You have a picture? Uh, the other, I'm certainly not showing it online. Uh, uh, I do have one, which, uh, for which, sure. Which um, means that I'm, it's nothing. Sure can you privately send it to me? I won't, I won't pull it up. Can you, can you message it to me? Humana, humana, humana. I guess, yeah. But yeah, I'm going mean, to explain I, how it is that it is. Yes. Sure. Nick, you can get to it from the road and there's no gate there. What I'm saying is... Okay, the well then fucking it's publicly accessible, which means that he can be there and you're mm -hmm. dumb. Shut Buffoonery. Up. Buffoonery. Other way Having a bunch of money does not make you smart. You gotta understand that. To get in is a gate on the opposite side. So, for example, our building is at the end of this lot, if you want to uh, call it that. You can get out during that lot, but there are two gates on both sides. It doesn't matter. There's a public road. There's a public road. Right? That's the only way you can get in and the only way you can get out without driving through the side that the idiot came from. Right? Wait, but that's, that's okay. what I'm saying. I know, but this, this is so confusing. The only way, hey, guys, you guys just aren't getting it. The only way into this place other than the two gated access is the public access. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. You're saying there's gates on either side. Yes. But then you're saying that he drove through another side and got yeah, in. Yeah, so look at it like three sides because there's nothing but fencing. This is like every deposition I've ever seen when a guy represents himself and he's going up against a lawyer. Yeah, and you're you know like, what I mean? Why didn't you bring but Get a lawyer. In. Or this is like an episode of The First 48. Where he's just, just completely just no, but like you know, there was lighting, but like not good lighting. <laughs> yeah, it was not thing. It was on the not other lit, but it was very lit up. On, on on one side, right? So you have a fence. Look at it like this: like you got a fence, right? And then mm -hmm. on opposite yeah. sides of that of that fence, right, is, uh, is our say fence more, or is our building, right? You sure. can get out. So get on the street, do whatever you need to do. There are two sides. If you went left or if you went right, there are gates on both sides. There is only one way if you're not entering through that gate to get in to where our building is. Not everybody right. else's building to get in to where our building. Was he like a former gangbanger or some shit like that? I doubt it. I think that's made up. I doubt Even it. I'm talking about Rakeda. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, that's totally believable. <laughs> no, but see, yeah, no, I know because he was like rap 
rock metal guy. I and guess. Like it was like yeah, I don't I don't know, man. He's like the what is it? The yeah, the rap metal, and then like the comic book. He's into too many white boy things to be yeah. oh to be. Yeah, good. no, there's no. So he's, fucking like, he's like way, he's like dude. Tech Nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. B building is there's only one way to get in, not using those two gates. So there's Forrest Mommy said he grew up middle class but had divorced parents. So way to it's get like in without using like the gate. Correct. Okay, but yeah, yeah like Hey Arcana, can we borrow your rumble plaque? We'll give it back. Yeah. I see it behind we'll you. Can borrow back. it? Promise can we borrow back. it? Like you see the issue right. there, right? That there is a publicly accessible way in without a gate. Issue as far as what? Uh -huh. I mean, just, look at his look look at Nick's face. I know, I know, I know. This, this is another part where he, you can tell he's doing the what don't you understand? He's trying not to laugh. Um Okay, so you can have if you have three entrances and two gates, and one mm -hmm. of them is just an ungated entrance to a public road, that's not fenced in. That's not gated. Man. Not from that I side, it's not, no. You're a buffoon! Here's he your one buffoon. of the dumbest human beings on the face of the planet, bro. Yeah, no, I But I'm saying, what do, you, what, you. what do you mean, like, what do you mean as far as with the issue? I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not understanding what it is you're, you're, you're meaning there. But if you can, if you can he, drive in from a public road, I'm, I'm having trouble seeing it as private, is all. That's See, all right, so now, now it's, a, it's more of a, uh, I guess, semantics, or you want to argue illegal. No, it's more I'm, of a... I'm I'm trying to, you want to argue illegal, yeah! It's a lawyer you're talking to about legality. Yeah, that was yeah. what we were doing. I'm not trying. I'm not making an argument that you can't get there. Like any person, hey, you're, you're making an argument. You're making an argument for justifiable homicide. That's a legal argument. Yeah, but yeah. it's not a legal argument. It's a feelings argument. Yeah. He feels like you shouldn't be there. Okay. There, let's say to get to our. So bill. this all could That's be not this all could be fucking solved very easily. Call the police and have them criminally trespassed. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. Well, they didn't do that. So. But that's all you have to do. And then if he comes back, you call the police and they fucking arrest him. The argument he, I'm making. He feels that Riley trespassed, even though Riley was not asked to leave by anybody. He did not speak to anybody on the premises. Mm -hmm. uh, no police report was ever filed. He was never contacted in any way, shape, or form by Ripple or well, any of his all team. You, all about you not have returning. to do is have the cops come. <laughs> And say, hey, give me your ID. And they take your ID and they write your info down and they hand you a piece of paper and they go, here, you're not allowed back here. Don't come back. If you come back, we arrest you. And then you leave. It's that simple. <laughs> Only position it is that I... But also that wouldn't even work either because he's technically not trespassing because there's other suites there. And my, you, might be, you might be able to criminally trespass them from the Ripperverse, but then the, you can yeah. still go to the car well, no, wrap place. Well, no, you could do that. But then, yeah. then it makes like the pictures and him looming around still more like, you know what I mean? Like, like if I get criminally trespassed from, you know, fucking tires plus and there's a goddamn uh, a mobile gas station that I usually go into and they fucking, you know, criminally trespass me from the mobile gas station. If I'm getting my tires rotated, I can't start. Like, if I'm already criminally yeah. tried, if I'm posting pictures to social media and going, oh, I'm right over here, mobile gas. Like, they could theoretically get me arrested because you're no. still fucking with them. No, they can't. They would have to have a protective order. Yeah, but it would be true. a very good, it would be a very good piece of evidence for, for a, a protective, protective order. order. Yeah. I have is that our building, our, our building, as far as accessing it, and being in there, like any anywhere near I'm there, the only for reason it. I already watched the stream. I would have heard it already. Were, were they invited. They were invited there. Or they just, the, they just drove into the. Just drove into the. Yeah, just drove in, dro drove into. When I'm talking about, uh, but you private, don't need an invitation to drive into the driveway, right? Like, no, you don't need an invitation to drive into the driveway. What I'm okay. saying is, there's no reason for someone to be there. I think so what? That's not how any of this worked. Oh my god! Could you imagine if they? Used, could you imagine back in the day if you got kicked out of the mall? For not having a reason to be there. How many times have you gone to the mall just to like look around, see if they got anything you want? Like, I've gone meet to my, malls. Meet my drug dealer. Meet your drug dealer. You know, maybe see what movies are out and then realize you don't want to see any of them. You know, that whole fucking deal. Be like, fine, I guess I'll go to Pan Express. But bro, imagine them just walking around, kicking everyone out of the mall and go, what are you doing here? You know, you're shopping bags. You're not shopping. You get out. You have no business to be at the mall. Bro, <laughs> people between. People that used to like him have really turned on Eric Jones yeah, right now. Because he's an like, asshole. People, people are just fucking cannot cannot stand him. We're coming up towards the end here. Uh, Chuck Norris Gun Club, yo, uh, I'm going to shoot you for trespassing in my warehouse, but you're the aggressor. 
Jack Cat, your Isom comic is probably by the puppet. Please grab the puppet for Mark. No, I don't know where that is either. No, the, your your Isom is downstairs. I don't think oh, you ever brought it up here. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, true, because I've been enjoying it so much downstairs in my reading, my in my uh, in my library. It looks like a book that LeBron James owns. Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. And just the like the LeBron James comic. book, I've only read the first three pages. No, that's what I mean. There's not even a crack. There's not even a crease on the cover. We want to keep it mint condition. Uh huh. Also, I'm sorry. If you're not reading your Isom book in your library, you're doing it wrong. It's not in my library. library. Yeah, you're right. True Wolf, Eric is just a uh, black Lacarna. Give it a few years. He'll start dating a tranny to reel that, uh, reel that black guy with the glasses energy. Yeah. Well, look, he, my, he, I didn't realize what a buffoon he was till he started trying to understand, try Can to explain speaking? why he could shoot yeah. somebody in Texas because of stickers. Yeah, well, you guys have just never read Rothbard. No, I haven't. You know what else I've never read? I saw him. So I'm happy doing both of those Hey-o. things. Hey,